What is up? This is Raphael with NBA Draft Junkies. Here to drop a video on 17-year-old Scoot Henderson. It only took me a couple plays to see that this kid is the real deal. Now, I heard he was nice, but I did not know Scoot Henderson was this nice. Now, I had read the Sports Illustrated article on his upbringing, how he dominated high school basketball in Georgia, and how he's considered a trailblazer in America as a 17-year-old professional basketball player. But I'll be honest, I knew the name, I was familiar with his resume, but I didn't spend a lot of time studying his game, so this was my first look outside of a few highlight clips that I've seen on YouTube. But all it took was one game, one game for me now to not, you heard that right, not be 100% sold on Victor Wimbanyama as the top pick in 2023. Now three months ago, I would have been considered crazy crazy to think anyone could pass Wimbanyama on draft boards but Scoot Henderson might be that dude he has a type of blow by speed that will allow him to get to the rack at will to the point where he may not even need the help of a ball screen he literally makes defenders look like they're defending him in sand while he's playing on a totally different surface and not only does he have an incredible first step that is quicker than a hiccup but he also has the frame to absorb all the punishment he'll take as a downhill attacking point guard. He has a thick muscular frame and broad shoulders that looks like he's been putting in work in the weight room and preparing himself for the next level. Now, I don't have any measurements on his hand size, but it looks as if he has hands large enough to palm the basketball off the dribble, similar to Rajon Rondo, which should make him even more of a dangerous finisher around the basket. A freakishly athletic point guard with elite burst and strength with big hands? I mean, that is just unfair. One of the things I like most about his game is that he's able to shift downhill and accelerate with ease, but he can stop his momentum on a dime to get to his pull-up jumper. The threat of his first step is what makes defenders think twice about crowding him, which will allow him to get to his sweet spots, which is around the 15 to 17 foot range, and in that range, he looks as comfortable as a man sitting in his own living room. Now, I know it's only been three games into his professional career, but I'm confident that I'm not jumping the gun here. Scoot Henderson is the real deal. And maybe, just maybe, the way too early race to be the top pick in 2023 is more competitive than we think.